Welcome back, everyone. Wait, hold on. <coughs> ah, much better. Feels good to no longer be a pre-rendered MP4. Now, MGQ. Well, I guess we're not doing that. Hey, you guys want to learn how to differentiate between birds of prey? This video was meant to come out on the 1st of April, I'm sorry. There are in fact quite a lot of birds of prey. According to Google, which is of course never wrong, there are over 560 different species of bird, or raptors as is the collective term. It is derived from the Latin rapio, meaning to snatch or take with force. No points for working out what other word this etymologically morphed into. And reset the clock. There are six main genus of raptor, however three, the Pandionine, Sagittaridae, and Carimidae. We will be skipping entirely as they only have a single surviving family in their genus. That being the Osprey, the Secretary Bird, and the Seremus respectively. Also, because I don't want people from AN being horny over the Secretary Bird due to it having naturally occurring bedroom eyes. Which leaves us with Cathardidae, your New World Vultures and Condors, Falconidae, Caracaras and of course Falcons, and Asipatridae, which has literally everything else. I should also clarify by that that everything else does not include all birds that prey on other animals. To be a raptor, you require the sharp beak and talons. So sorry Albatross, you didn't quite make the cut. And I'm not sorry Kingfisher, fuck you. I only want to focus on the big three that people most often get confused between. That being hawks, eagles, and falcons. In terms of looks, hawks are of medium size, with usually narrow wings and a lean frame. Falcons on the other hand have much broader wings, and are the only one of the three to prey almost entirely on other birds. They are in fact the smallest of the three, ranging from medium to absolutely tiny, with the collared falconet. Essentially the closest you'll get to a kitten with wings. A note on size is that most raptors are reverse sexually diamorphic which is an overly verbose way of saying that, unlike humans, the females are usually larger than the males. However, the males will often have brighter and more attractive plumage and coloration. Special shout out to the peacocks, my glittering emerald pretty boys. Eagles are one of the largest birds of prey, with the largest of them, the harpy eagle, coming in at a size of very large. As they hunt with their talons rather than their beaks like falcons, these will also be much larger, but they are probably better identified by their call. Okay, Americans in my audience. What noise does this eagle make? Yes, that's right. It's... Oh, was that not what you were expecting? Thinking of this? Yeah, that's, that's a red-tailed hawk. Once again, Common Core has failed you. And while we're on the topic of the colonies, did you know that the bald eagle wasn't even America's first choice? It was the golden eagle, but that flew over European nations, so they decided they couldn't have that. In a truly meaningful statement, the tradition of which is carried on by anyone who calls French fries freedom fries. I mean, they were in fact actually Belgium and just given to them by French-speaking Belgians, but we are getting dangerously off topic. Benjamin Franklin, yes that one, argued that they shouldn't have gone with the bald eagle either, as he thinks of them as a bird of poor moral character, continuing, he does not get his living honestly, too lazy to fish himself, he watches the labour of the fishing hawk, and... When that diligent bird has at length taken a fish, and is bearing it to his nest for his young ones, the bald eagle pursues him and takes the fish. With all this injustice, he is never in good case. Instead, he suggested the turkey vulture would have been better, calling it a much more respectable bird and a true native of America, that while a little vain and silly, was still a bird of courage. Congress said no. Attempting to veer this back to our comparison, hawks have a very piercing shriek. While eagles, playing against their appearance, do more high-pitched whistling, close to that of a songbird. Falcons, on the other hand, make more of the stereotypical cap cap bite me, you know, more and shrieks you'd expect of a bird of prey. What falcons may lack in size, however, they make up for with speed. Not only being the fastest of the three, but the peregrine, the objectively best raptor, is in fact the fastest animal on the planet, with stoops topping out at close to 400 kilometers an hour. For my friends still using Imperial, that comes out at roughly 291,000 Chevy Tahoes per Super Bowl. Should probably stop ragging on the Americans so hard, as they are most of my audience. So here, have some patriotism to make up for it. Eh, you know what, close enough. A good way to tell the three apart is nesting habits. Hawks build fairly standard nests, as high as they can in trees or mountains. Eagles, once again, are a lot like hawks, only bigger. 
as in coming in at a record of nearly three tons in one case. And they would likely keep going if not for the fact that the trees they build on eventually cease to be able to bear the weight and simply collapse. Falcons don't bother, and instead just find a nice spot on the side of a cliff, carve out a scrape, and call it a day. Which all comes together to prove why falcons are clearly superior to the others. Kingfisher's DNI. Thanks for watching, and more importantly, thanks for a thousand subs! When I made my first review almost three years ago to the day, I didn't really think I'd make it this far. I kept it at the back of my mind as, if I make it this far, it means I've made something of at least a little value to some people, so genuinely thank you. For the milestone, I have made a Discord, linked below. I also finally got a real pop filter to replace the old sock I was using previously. I don't know how you put up with my terrible audio for this long. Sorry this video was on the shorter side, and it's not actually the MGQ video. Because of work, most of March was basically a write-off, but I wanted to get at least something out for people, as it's only two months until the first summer con since the virus, so the next six weeks are basically reserved for prep for that. The MGQ review will be someday, I promise. It'll be done when it's done. So join the Discord if you want updates, and I hope to see you all again soon. Here's onward and upwards to 10k.